It looks amazing what the whole community has done. Being yourself and, know, and, and believing in yourself that you can do things and nothing's unreachable. All races, singing, talking, dancing all over the world to remove the cloud away from your sun, to be friends, respecting each other forever. I'm Catherine and I don't come from this country. I'm a, um, my dad's from the Buri people up in North Queensland, Bowen, North Queensland, and my grandmother was born on, in Cape York, on Cape York, around the Cohen. She's a Kanju woman. Hello, my name's Lizzie. I'm a community artist and a living glebe. And in 1997, my friend Cathy Farrowell did some beautiful artworks with the children for Sorry Day. There were a number of students, you know, sisters did some, and young Kelly McGrady and Yolanda, a few, Yolanda and, Kiara, and Kiara, the lots of Kara. young ones. And they were so beautiful that the council asked if they could be changed from the small artwork into a public artwork. It stemmed from working with art with the children, but also them they taught us things that we need to know. We came to the decision and to go ahead with the mural inside the auditorium. Eva Rodriguez Riestra, the public arts manager at City of Sydney Council, found an opportunity and offered us a space. So then Lizzie's picked up the work and carried the spirit of those artworks in which they were done and hence we come to sitting here today. Lizzie and I spoke to Auntie Elaine and Russell and got Auntie Elaine and Russell to come down to where I live and we I have a little area at the back where you can paint and no one bothers you. And um, so Auntie Elaine, her daughter Brooke and her granddaughter Rachel came and the ladies a few words, but they, um, Auntie was saying, you know, uh, directing us where to place the three boomerangs and that are on there, that's for the right of the child to return. But Auntie and Auntie Brooke and uh, Rachel's profiles are on those boomerangs. So when you see the boomerang, you see the face of them. And there's Auntie Elaine's at the top. She's for the mother telling her daughter the stories at bedtime, sleep time. And as Brooke, as Mum got into her art, Brooke was seeing those stories form in front of her through Auntie painting. And then her, her daughter, Brooke's daughter, goes to school, the granddaughter of Auntie Elaine goes to school and she sees them in a book formation and, and stories that are told. So the silhouette on the orange sunray is um, Rachel and she's rejoicing. And she's also got uh, three keys, and the keys are for unlocking the past and, you know, telling stories. But also, in Archie's song, there's this, the words of songs that about Ruby holding the, the keys. So the keys are in, uh, a symbol of unlocking. So it's about the boomerang returning. You have the right to return the country and to family and the remembrance and also the storytelling and that's coming from the mother to the daughter to the granddaughter. My name is Caroline and I was one of the main Aboriginal artists in the project. The story behind the project is about reconciliation, all races in the world come together in one hands, to bring the black and the white to earth. All races, singing, talking, dancing all over the world to remove the cloud away from the sun, to be friends, respecting each other forever. So my name's Odessa Sarkru and I'm the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Community Development Worker for the Glebe area. I think Kiruan's very talented, I like the um, artwork she's produced and yeah, it's very interesting to see her transform because um, I used to live next door to them in 40 Derwent um, when their father was alive and that's so seeing them as little girls running around to these amazing women that they've become and um, how they contribute in community is um, 
yeah, it's very inspiring. My father was a big part in my life and he passed away when I was like 15. So, you know, he was a known Aboriginal artist and dancer. So, you know, but he um, more or less gave me, you know, the inner, inner strength for me to do this, you know, and to make him proud. You know, and just my family to help me along the way, you know. You know, my brothers and sisters, Kuri, Kane, Dunker, William, Kiara and Kara. So my name's Kieran Kevins, I'm the coordinator of the Glebe Youth Service here in Glebe. This project really highlights to the wider community and reaffirms to young people themselves their value, their creativity, their talent. Um, and the fact that they are an integral and really valued part of the local community and wider society. So we see young people who maybe have come up hard, they've had some difficulties in their life, um, but through projects like this, it creates inspiration, motivation, um, and a sense of belonging to the wider community. Yeah, I just basically did a dog painting of all the beautiful colours in the in their um, forests. Uh, yeah, I think it's very important, you know, that we have a space, you know, where people can, you know, young people can come, you know, let loose and, you know, be stress free and, you know, get in touch with themselves and paint because it's how, you know, what I did when I started painting. Makes me um, calm, no stress, yeah, just painting with um, other people. All races, talking, singing, dancing all over the world to move the clouds away from the sun, to be friends, respecting each other forever.